everybody, it is me Alice and today I'm going to be doing a what's in my travel makeup bag because a lot of you guys have been asking me which makeup I take on my travels, especially when I'm going to like Glasgow and Edinburgh and Newcastle and stuff like that and I thought that would be a good idea to film this video because my makeup bag is changing all the time, like I <laughs> love to test out new products like every week and these products in my makeup bag have been my fave recently and I can't wait to show you guys. I love to watch these type of videos because it can give me some ideas of what makeup to try out and everything. So yeah, but without further ado, let's go in the video. My travel makeup bag is from Primark. It's just like this cute cream and copper kind of like the design. It also has like, I think it's got like, I don't know if that's like snake skin, but it's got like kind of like um, a gold design, which I think is really cute. And I'm sure I bought this for £5. This is like ages ago. I think I've had this for like almost a year now. And this is the best thing for taking like on your travels because it is compact, but it has got a lot of space inside. Um, and obviously the colour is really cute and it is really pretty and I love it. So, and it also has a handle because like, handle like I feel like a handle in travels is essential especially like if you're going on a train or something and then like you need to like swap trains or you need to go on the plane somewhere you can have your handle and hold it if you want have to like kind of hold it like this and you could drop it so I love this I'm gonna open it up and show you inside but I have to be careful I don't want any of the products to come out here it is inside oh my god it's really big inside like it is really deep which is really good because it means that I can put all of like the products in and it won't get overflown because like like I have I've got a few makeup bags that I've took in the past and like the makeup has almost been bulging out and can hardly close it. But this is really good. Um and I love it so much. So firstly I'll just show like all my makeup brushes because I've took kind of like the more boring part. So for like face brushes, I firstly have my Real Techniques and Multitask brush. I use this like for, for blending like my contour and bronzer and stuff like that. And this is just super soft and fluffy. And this is just a perfect brush for blending and I love it so much. And I've also got my blush brush, which is just perfect for like my cheekbones and just contouring. As you can tell it has got a lot of brown on it, which means it's really good for bronzer and contouring. And also, it's also got a bit of like, kind of like a little point, which is good for the cheekbones. I recommend it. It's a really good brush. I then also have my, um, like I don't know if this is a limited edition, because last year at Christmas time I said it was a limited edition, but they brought them out again, I, I don't know, but it's like, it's the powder brush, it's just the number 300, and this is basically the style of the bold metal ones, and I'm obsessed with this brush, like it's pink and glittery and gold, and this is just perfect for powdering, and it's super soft as well. I then also have my highlight brush, which has got a bit of an angle, and use this like for my nose highlight, and just everywhere where I want to highlight my face. This is super good. As you can tell, they're all pink. I don't know why. Obviously, I know why they're pink because, like, they're the first brushes. I think all the first brushes in the Real Techniques are pink, aren't they? I don't, I don't know why I said that. The last first brush that I've got is my foundation brush. I ordered this off Amazon. It's three ninety nine, and it's called the Glamza Foundation Brush. And I have used Real Techniques foundation brush before. And sometimes I get a few streaked lines with this, but with this you don't get any streak marks. It blends perfectly. So you basically you just like it, it's like a brush, but it's got a little hole in the middle. And in in this hole you put your foundation in the middle. After you put foundation in the hole, you just you just you, you dot it around your face like that, and then you start blending. And this is the best brush ever. Like, um, I, I have two of these now because I'm obsessed and also because I always forget to clean my brushes. I thought that if I have like like a newer one, I, c I can use it for when I'm for when I'm cleaning my other one. So I've always have a backup, which is always good. And in case I ever lose it as well, these are super affordable. I will put the link in the description because these are a lifesaver and just really good brush and some really like weight as well which is good too if it won't be like too heavy but I know that some of the Real Techniques brushes can be quite heavy sometimes so I love them moving on to eye brushes so I've got like for eyeshadow I've got five different brushes I should have another one somewhere where's it gone I think I've got about oh yeah I've got five eyeshadow brushes so I've got like this little one like which is more, well I use it for like the side of my eye and I've got this one for like my crease because it's got a bit of an angle on it also I have this one like for shimmer, it's like a flat one and I also have my Urban Decay Naked Smoky one which is really good for just like blending out your eyeshadow like it's a really good blending brush and I've also got Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush <laughs> but I don't really use this for my creases such as use it for like whatever I need it for really you know what I mean and then I've also got my, eye, my two eyebrow brushes so I use the eyeliner brush just for like the start of my eyebrow I feel like it's 
like it makes it more precise. And of course I've got a Primark eyebrow brush, which has got a spoolie and the eyebrow on, thing on the end. These are very good and I use these and these are really good for eyeshadow and eyebrows. So yeah. Also in my makeup bag I have two sponges. I know people can know how disgusting they are. I always try to clean these, however they just stain the foundation and like concealer and stuff so I'm going to have to get some new ones. But I have the <laughs> Real Techniques um, like sponge, you know what, it's just like the orange one, it's got the flat end and then it's got like the good end. So I use this flat end for like contouring like the powder bit and like for my <laughs> baking as well and I've also used this for like foundation sometimes. But I prefer to use that brush because it is a like, it is like a game changer in the makeup world and then I also have my small sponge from Primark. I think these came in a four pack. It's like the two small yellow ones and a big pink one. Then this little orange one. And this is super good and really bouncy as well. Like it's just really good. And as you can tell, I am going to have to throw these out and buy some new ones because these are absolutely horrendous. So, and, and they are starting to smell a bit, which I know is a bit too much information, but it's doing. So I'm going to have to get some new ones of them. So, moving on to makeup. I will just like pick up like any random product. Like it, like it won't be like in any order at all. Just because my makeup's all over my bag now. But I'll start off with my foundation. Which is the Kat Von D Look It One. This is in the shade Light 44 Curl. And I have been using this foundation for a whole year. Because I got it on my birthday. So this has lasted me a year. And I, like, I got this on my 16th birthday and now I'm 17 and it, I've still got loads left. I've probably got about, I think it's about halfway there now, but this foundation is the best one if you have oily skin. Because basically, like, with oily skin you need to have, like, like a mattifying kind of drier foundation just because if you have a dewy foundation it'll make your skin look a lot more oilier as this. It's really thick as well, so um, I, I don't really have to powder with this foundation. Like, um, if I am wearing makeup for like a long time, then I probably, probably only have to powder once. That's about it. And this literally is locked on your skin. You have a look in your local Debenhams. I, I think they have it in Debenhams. And I think it's around £27, £29. It's a really good price. And the best thing ever. I can't stop talking about it. I've got my collection pressed powder. This is in the shade Ivory. I think it's like the lightest shade. This is a good powder for powder on your face. It makes your face all matte. This is only two pounds and it just it just does what powder needs to do. It's just really good and this is just a really good powder so it's definitely worth having a look because I think some powders are like four pounds but it's just worth to get this one because it's like half the price and it's just a good powder so you know next in my makeup bag i have my revolution super size concealer i got the super size one because i used to have like the little small four pound one and it, it ran out within a month so I, I bought the super size because it lasts me a little longer and it is seven pounds and i think it's got a double the amount of product in anyway so i got this and this is the best concealer ever i i've used it today it's my highlighted my under eyes it's just a really good high coverage concealer and I'm sure everyone raves about this because it is the best thing which has ever existed. I then have my Revolution Lace Press Powder, I mean, I mean Loose Powder. Um, I tried this for the first time yesterday and I'm absolutely shook. I love it. It is four or five, I think it's probably five pounds. It, it just, it just bakes really well on your face like it doesn't, doesn't look like cakey or anything like it comes off really well now I've got mine in the shade lace which I think is probably one of I think it's like the second lightest because I think they've got a white one and they've got this one but I got this one just because I feel like it'll probably look a bit nicer and do want like have like kind of like a flat like a back flash what's it called like the thing where you have the flash in the photo and it like shows up white so I've got this one because I think it'll look a, a lot nicer and this is really good for bacon, so it's worth having a look on the Revolution stand because all my makeup is perfect and so good. Next, I have my blushing heart. I have it's I Heart Makeup Blushing Heart, I think. It's the triple baked blusher in Peachy Pink Kisses. But I use this as a highlight. I just use the first two shades. I might have to hold the thing because it keeps coming out. But I use these two shades here. I've got it on. I don't, I don't know if you can see my highlight, but it's so good. I think it beats a few um, high end makeup brands for highlight but I won't mention which names but it's very good and it is up there like 
I love this. I have my Revolution Hussein spray. As you may know, I love Revolution, but it's just super affordable and high quality brand. And this is such a makeup in place. This is an illuminating one, so it kind of makes your face a little bit like lighter, which is good. It's just really good. And I meant to shake it for use as well because, yeah. Well, I think everyone knows that. It says on the packaging anyway, shake well before use. So, you know, you've got to do that. This is really good and this is £5 as well. I then have two pairs of eyelashes. I have my Tati eyelashes. These are in the style T TL4. Tati eyelashes are amazing. I got an order on them the other day and they're just super lovely. And these are just the 3D luxury mink ones and just super pretty and the packaging is gorgeous. So I love to use these ones because they're just super nice and they've got a really thin like line as well, like a band, which is really good. And then I've also got these 3D mink lash ones. I bought these from eBay or Amazon for like 50p. 50p for eyelashes, it's amazing. Um, so I've got these and wear these more like if I was going out to like a party or something I mean I have really good parties but if I'm going out for like a meal somewhere I'll probably wear these because these are a lot more heavier on the eyes I then have my so my Revolution Soft X um, eyeshadow palette is, is this going to blind you because it kind of has a mirror on it but the packaging is beautiful and it's got a lot of beautiful shades in here I'm, I'm trying to cover up the mirror because I don't want you to get blinded but it has a lot of lovely shades in here and I love using this because I can create like loads of looks with this palette which is really good and it has got a wide range of shades so I love using this for like eyeshadow. Next I have my Shade and Light Kat Von D, I, 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 I meant to say Kat Von D Shade and Light but just because I read that first but this is the contour palette. This palette is perfect for contouring and I usually use like these two shades here as you can tell I've hit pan on them so I do love them a lot and I use this almost every day when I wear makeup and it's super good and I'm sure this is around I want to say probably £34 but if you're after a good drugstore I mean um, a good high end contour palette you should go for this one because it is really good and I love it. The final few things in my collect like in my makeup bag oh my god I, I just have a few more to show you so I've got Three of my NYX lipsticks. I've got a NYX Turn Up one in the shade Flutter Case. It's like a lovely pink colour. And I've got two NYX lingeries in Exotic and Ruffle Trim. And this is like a red and a lovely nude. And I'm sure if you have been watching me for a while, you'll know that I love NYX lipsticks. And I'm not going to rave about them today because I'm sure you're so bored of me talking about NYX lingerie lipsticks and just uh, all their lipsticks in general. But I love to take these with me. And these are like the only lipsticks that I wear really. So... Yeah. Then my final two things you'll you'll be happy to know because this video is probably really long. But I've got my LA Girl Wispy Mascara. This is just a perfect mascara. I prefer it over most drugstore ones in the shops. It's only six pounds on Beauty Bay, so get yourself over there. It's very good. And I also have my my makeup obsession eyebrow pomade in medium brown. This is just a really good dupe for the Anastasia one. Um, and I love these two so much. So yeah, and that's a thing in my makeup bag. So. Oh, it took me a long time. So guys, this is the end of my video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and the comment down below. And please subscribe to me if you haven't already, because we are almost at 2.2k, which is absolutely mad, because I can't believe I'm, all, I'm like almost at it. But yeah, but anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.